Without objection, the bill is considered as read and open for amendment at any point, and I'll begin by recognizing myself for an opening statement. The United States Congress is often stereotyped by the American people as playing political games rather than legislating. But today, once again, this committee will defy that stereotype and demonstrate that members can work across the aisle to reach an agreement and legislate responsibly. And once again, this committee will prove that American liberty and American security are not mutually exclusive, that we can enhance civil liberty protections while preserving strong, effective national security programs without compromising either one. Today, the House Judiciary Committee will consider a bipartisan proposal that is the culmination of months of collaboration between members from both sides of the aisle, from both sides of the Capitol, the intelligence community, civil liberties groups, and private industry to reform certain national security programs operated under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA. I want to thank the sponsor of the USA Freedom Act, Crime Subcommittee Chairman Sensenbrenner, for his dedication to this important issue. And I'm pleased to join him, Ranking Member Conyers, Congressman Nadler, and 19 other members of this committee as an original co-sponsor of this important legislation. Under current law, the FISA business records provision, often referred to as Section 215 of the Patriot Act, allows the government to access business records in foreign intelligence, international terrorism, and clandestine intelligence investigations. The 2013 unauthorized disclosures by Edward Snowden revealed to the American people that the National Security Agency is collecting bulk telephony metadata under Section 215. Since the revelation of this program, many members of Congress and their constituents have expressed concern about how the program is operated and whether it poses a threat to American civil liberties and privacy. Last Congress, the House Judiciary Committee conducted aggressive oversight of this program. The committee conducted three full committee hearings, included a, including a classified hearing with the intelligence community and a hearing to examine recommendations from the President's Review Group on Intelligence and Communications Technologies and the Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board. This oversight culminated in passage by the committee and the House of the USA Freedom Act last spring. The legislation before the committee today builds upon that legislation and goes beyond it to add additional privacy protections and national security tools. At the heart of this legislation is the reform of Section 215 to prohibit bulk collection of any business records. Bulk collection is also prohibited under the FISA Pen Register Trap and Trace Device Authority and National Security Letter Authorities. The USA Freedom Act strengthens the definition of specific selection term, the mechanism used to prohibit bulk collection, to ensure the government can collect the information it needs to further a national security investigation while also prohibiting large-scale indiscriminate collection. In place of the current bulk telephone metadata program, the USA Freedom Act creates a narrower, targeted program that allows the intelligence community to collect non-content call detail records held by the telephone companies, but only with the prior approval of the FISA court. The records provided to the government in response to queries will be limited to two hops, and the government's handling of any records it acquires would be governed by minimization procedures approved by the FISA court. The Act codifies important procedures for recipients of national security letters to challenge non-disclosure requests in response to a 2008 Second Circuit decision and makes conforming changes to Section 215 in response to that decision. The USA Freedom Act improves upon the provision from last year's version of the bill, creating a panel of experts to advise the FISA court on matters of privacy and civil liberties communications technology, and other technical or legal matters. The bill requires declassification of all significant opinions of the FISA court and provides procedures for certified questions of law to the FISA court for review and the Supreme Court. The Act expands the mandatory government report contained in last year's bill, requiring greater detail relating to U.S. persons and provides even more robust transparency reporting by America's technology companies. 
The USA Freedom Act also contains several important national security enhancements, including closing loopholes that make it difficult for the government to track foreign terrorists and spies as they enter or leave the country, clarifying the application of FISA to foreign targets who facilitate the international proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, increasing the maximum penalties for material support of a foreign terrorist organization, and extending the sunsets of the expiring Patriot Act provisions to December 2019. The USA Freedom Act ensures that critical FISA authorities will remain in place to protect our national security while also protecting our civil liberties so that we can regain the trust of the American people. I urge my colleagues to support me in strong support for this common sense, bipartisan, and balanced legislation.